Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1. I think I might title this episode uh, The Quest for Progress because uh, I've taken us right back to the start. To s we're going to have a little poke around on the spaceship Arcada to see if there's anything that we might have missed. Is there a, is there a drawer here? There is, there is no drawer here. Uh, let's look at this table. Uh, table is used for holding things above the floor. <laughs> that's a that's a very good description. This looks like many other chairs you have seen in your lifetime. I like the um, the cool disdain with which um, those descriptions were in. That's quite amusing. All right, so if I recall correctly, if we keep going this way, we will find uh, a body. With a key card. Uh, get a key card. I don't think we need to. Yeah. The game doesn't mind whether we've looked at things or not. So there's definitely that. And if we go through there again, we'll progress the story and get be able to get the cartridge. But what if we go down? Hang on. So if we go, if we were to go right from the closet, I think that takes us back to the other side of that division, doesn't it? So we're probably going to trigger the uh, the scientist's arrival. I think. I mean, the game does definitely put stock in the the hope that you will have to walk through this. Oh, oh, oh no! Ah, oh, you can get across the room before it. Okay, talk man. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, you can miss it. Oh no, okay, if you look at him then he phew, okay. Tell me the thing. Great. Um Okay, yeah, I suppose there is a high chance that you will have to pass through this room twice. Um, especially as you're exploring it, so you'll know that this event takes place. But there's a there's a little bit of a design risk there. Um, astral bodies. Yep. Delightful. Uh, get cartridge. Uh, I don't know if that person who supposedly plodding along with the footsteps will turn up. I mean, probably. Did I spell cartridge correctly? There we go. Let's find out together. That was, was that me opening that? Okay, there's no, no footsteps now. All right, let's just try this way. Yes, I think it's just the three screens that loop around. Um, yeah. So that is a dead end there that leads back to, so there are only the bodies here to look at. Look, corridor. Yeah, pretty nondescript thing. I don't think there'll be, so we ideally we're looking for some kind of mirror or glass. Um, And this room, I don't think there's anything that we're supposed to acquire in this room. It's just another place for knowledge, I think. Uh, oh, F3? No. Yeah, which I think, I find the inclusion of this room uh, for narrative purposes really interesting. Was it, um, it kind of plays into the idea of, uh, uh, short iterations of gameplay that I was, um, I was attempting to talk about last episode. Um, I really like, it's kind of, it's an interesting, it's almost like a novelistic way of approaching, um, storytelling in a game where you anticipate the player's going to dip in and out and try different things out and they find out different 
facets find new rooms, new characters, new situations within a scenario. I like it. It's um, it sparks my imagination, as does because I was talking about graphics last time as well. I feel like you invest quite a lot in the um, the worlds of these low resolution games. Um, because you do employ employ your imagination to um, to help shape them. This is a section of one. Well, yeah, okay, uh, I was hoping for a, a little more, a little more flavour there. Uh, maybe there's like a cupboard somewhere that we missed. I mean, it's possible we didn't miss anything. Uh, you're in the central control area of the Arcada. The reactor domes pulsate irregularly, as if they had been tampered with. This does not look good. Through the window just above the control console, you can see down into the vehicle bay below. Press button. Press bay door button. Click buttons. Look, console. On the console, by the window, are two buttons marked open bay door and close bay door. Press open bay door button. Beautiful, look at that starscape. With its chunky pixels. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else around here, is there? Hmm. Right, we'll just check down in. I think the only other place that something could be is in the the kind of the airlock room before you get to the um, the ship bay. It's the only place I can imagine there could be something that we haven't. Had a look at. Look room. This is the flight prep room of the Arcada. As you can see, there is a sign on the back wall as well as two closet doors and two buttons. So if I go press uh, right button and I go look closet, you see a flight suit hanging in the closet. Get suit. Look, closet. I wonder what this is about. Oh, your old uniform hangs in the closet. Can I get the uniform? Or do you just change? You won't be needing that anymore. Okay. Um, press left button. Look, cl closet. It looks like an electrical gadget of some sort. Get gadget. So I'm, I'm, uh, I don't think we've really encountered any beings that would talk to us. I don't think. Look console. Uh, the console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Press airlock button. Because the pixels are so um, so wide, um, and I'm sitting relatively close to the screen, it does uh, it does look like I've typed too many letters sometimes, because they're just so wide. All right, I guess we're gonna do all the th all the things again. I guess we might as well. Um, press plat was it platform button? I'm trying to just try to remember it now. Yep, it's now an escape pod here. Yay! Look bay. Look room. This is the captain's vehicle bay. You said it. You know what? Hang on. Let's just let's just have a little cheeky save here. Um, I'll save it over here because we know what we we know what we can do here, don't we? Uh, this is vehicle bay. 
Yeah, I feel like we've got the Arcada sequence locked down. Uh, let's just see what happens if we just, you know, just have a little walk over. Over. <laughs> Congratulations, Cat Sequences. You have found your way off the Arcada and escaped obvious danger. Unfortunately, you will never be seen or heard from again, as you float gracefully through the heavens for eternity. <laughs> ah, Space Quest. I had a feeling you might have programmed that in. That's excellent. Go pod. Go pod go. Look room. Okay, uh, look controls. The console consists of a screen, pod status indicators, a throttle and some buttons. The ones are marked auto nav, power and don't touch. Press don't touch button. That has no effect now. Interesting. Okay. Um, press power button. Can I look at the screen actually? Does that work? Ooh, escape pod systems activated. Ready for instructions. Emergency program initiated. Pull throttle to execute launch sequence. How oh, we didn't do that before. Um, uh, let's close the door. Let's pull the throttle. Please buckle your seatbelt first. Oh, it's going to make me do this. I thought it was going to let me do it without um, fasten. Can you fasten seatbelt in this game? Oh, you can. Right, pull throttle. Right, we're gonna get into space and then we're gonna press the uh... Yay, we did it. Uh, right, press don't touch button. I said don't touch, it said don't touch. I warned you. <gasps> this looks like <laughs> King's Quest. Ken, did you hear something? It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Nice, a Sierra in joke. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. <laughs> Is that. There's so many gators. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. That's that's fun. All right. Um. Well, you know what? We we might as well do a little time warp and restore to. Um. Got survival kit. There you go. Um. Because I don't think there's anything else that we can do on the Arcada. Um. I want. I wonder if we can use the gadget. To speak to the creature in the cage, because it seemed intelligent and just wanted to play basketball with us, uh, mainly. Um, use gadget with person. Let's try that, see if we can get there in time. Uh, I think it may just be a little fun side diversion. I think we're probably just meant to um, get up on the bridge as quickly as possible to avoid being exploded by the spider. Uh, drop the boulder on the spider and then get downstairs. But I also don't know how we would get past those laser beams with our current equipment. to be perfectly honest. There he is. Oh, okay. Uh, look, room. You're in the slimiest of caves. The odor in here is less than desirable. What will be here? Oh no, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> Aura has transformed you into a new source of recreation. Um, I don't. I have a feeling there's probably nothing we can do in this cave. It doesn't look like there's any items visible. 
to me. And all that doesn't necessarily look like somebody that we can um, get on with, you know, if it was, if it was up to me. So I'm going to get back to that, you know, there's an easy way to get back to that room, isn't there? Uh, it's loading up the saves, it's called Laser Room. There you go, another time warp just happened. Um, right, let's use plant with beam. Use plant. You, you know, use plant. Hmm. Can you, can you jump? Sorry, this game is in a no jumping zone. Very good. Uh, put hand in beam. Oh. I mean, there isn't, uh, right here there isn't, isn't a bit of beam, so maybe this is fine. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, okay, so everything's there. Let's just look at things one by one. So I'm assuming we'd need this um, this cartridge for something. And the key card. Beacon hinder security systems. I wonder, is that a, an in-universe clue? I use the key card on the no no uh, plant. Did we eat the plant before? You plant your teeth into the strange plant and take a large bite. I just find it tastes exquisitely bad. If you had your your choice, you would choose any form of death over a meal of this. Fantastic. We still have it. That's good. Survival kit. Um. It formerly contained a Xenon army knife and a can of dehydrated water. Um, use kit with beam. Use kit. Hmm. Um. On the end is a dart and a light. Um, turn gadget on. You turn the dial to the right, the light begins to glow. Oh, okay, so we understand languages. That's probably helpful. Unless the batteries run out. But let's assume they won't. Um, and then the army knife, which seems to have like a knife and a tin opener and a something. Hmm. Open, no, we couldn't do open before, could we? Um, let's have a look at, was it unit? Two metal units here, which appear to be emitting beams of energy. Take off suit. I'll get naked if you get naked, you go first. Very good, very good, that's the wrong button. Very good, dehydrated water. So we can't open it. We can drink it. Use water on beam. Use can on beam. Use can. Use knife with beam. Use can with beam. Say what? Well, I'm not sure. Let's just try another little time warp. I have a notion. Uh, I don't know if it will help. But let's... Uh, Turn on device. Oh, turn device on. 
Huh. Oh, gadget, gadget. Turn gadget on. There you go. Understood my phrasing as well. Okay, right, we're gonna get back to the cave. I don't know if this will help, uh, but we'll try. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what else to try at this point. So I feel like we've probably explored all the areas that we're permitted to explore. But I assume if we go south from here, we're in desert. I assume we can go south from this screen. Um, and north is just desert, isn't it? So yeah, I don't think there's anything exciting to find anywhere else. I think this is this is it. This is where it's at. Uh oh, right next to me. That's embarrassing. Okay, so we're probably not going to get the oh. Well, there you go. You have just been blown into bite-sized chunks by a Sarian spider droid. Ah, oh, weren't quick enough that time. So, oh, hello. No, no, I don't want to do that. Thanks. I want to restore that one. No, no, I don't want to restore that one. I want to restore uh, that, 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 that one. There we go. Okay. Turn device on. Oh, it's a gadget. Turn the gadget on. Exit. And then we'll go this way. Yeah, I'm. I'm intrigued. I. I. Uh, at this point, I don't recall uh, any solutions. Any some, some scenarios. And I do have a. Um, an apprehension that there is an uh, arcade sequence coming up at some point on this planet, um, which I seem to have a, a, a distant memory of. Um, I don't think we can avoid it, but I think we can probably bear it when it comes to that. But first, we've got to work out what's going on with these laser beams, right? Alright, so if the spider gets here, then I don't think we can do the Aurat stuff. So, here's hoping... Talk or at. Or at is a guy, a few words, and none of them are for you. Look or at. Or at is huge and ugly. Of course, your opinion may differ depending on what part of the universe you come from. It should also be mentioned that he is quite mean. What for here? Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna do it again. <laughs> he's so good, he's a great animation. Okay, so this is definitely a dead end in, in more ways than one. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go back to the laser room one last time. I feel like we tried everything we can with the items we have. Ah. Um, can I throw can? Come to your senses, consequences. That couldn't help you at this time. Can I throw the knife? That does not compute. Can I throw the oh, throne? Can I throw the plant? Silly human, that would not be helpful. Can I throw the kit? Can I drop? Can you drop stuff? Drop the kit? No. Uh. uh. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that the um, the gallery in the screen that we're trying to progress in with the laser beams would lead to the upper gallery of this screen and then on to another that we haven't yet experienced. So I think 
the laser beams is what we need to be focusing on. It's just uh, the solution, because we may have everything we need already, quite possibly, but it's knowing what to do with those things. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I get the rock? I can! Oh, that's snazzy. Hmm. A reversible puzzle. Well, that's fun to know. Um, or at least this one, and then that goes to another screen. That would make sense. Um, and of course we can't climb. Watch out for the tentacles. Um, yeah, there's nothing at that level is visible on this screen, is it? So it's no, it's a different a different screen entirely. Look, cave. There's only one way to go to the left. See that's very helpful. Now what if we look cave here as well? This is another large chamber in the underground complex. There's a path on the back wall which is not accessible from the bottom. Okay. I guess they don't really teach you to climb in, in janitoring, janitoring, janitoring school? Janitorial college? Um, well, call me, call me still stumped then, I guess. This is a slightly smaller chamber in the underground complex. There's a path above which is not accessible from here. There's a pool on the right side. Ah, so that would have helped me with my... Um, my definition of what that is, but I think we I think we've got everything we can out of that portal by now. See previous episode. Um well, well I'm gonna go back to the laser room. Just see if there's anything to look at beyond what we've already uh oh oh can I go then go to the side? Here we go. Fabulous is it is it happening? Yes, it's happening. Look, rock. No, what about this rock? Look, rock. No, move rock. It's suspicious. Move. Oh, look. Stalic. Tight, or is it a mite? No. Look, ground. Everything down here is composed of very hard rock. Everything has a slimy look and feel due to, due, due to the humidity. Um, move rock. Let's not compute. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with that. I think it is just scenery, you know? Is there a button? Look. Button. Does, that's not appear to be here to view. Can I turn... turn off... No. Turn off beam. Turn off unit. No. Well, hmm. Use glass with beam. So what? Ah, okay, so this is like the with. But I could use glass. I don't have the glass. Where would I get the glass? I can't think. Where it would be in the game to this point. Hmm. Maybe that's a misdirection. I might be barking up the wrong tree there. Ah, so I think, yeah, me saying use with doesn't help. So let's just go through everything on the list, right? Can't use the cartridge. Use the key card. Use the plant. It's not currently one of my options. Use the kit. How would you like to do that? What if I open the kit? 
Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, you asked me, but I don't know. Use gadget. No. Use dehydrated water. No. Uh, use knife. Wouldn't cut. Hot margarine. Mmm. Well, in that case, game, I'm stumped. Use kit and beam. Does not compute. Um, block beam. Say what? Deflect beam. Reflect refract beam. Uh, beam beam. No. Well, we'll leave it there for today. I, hmm, I'm going to have to have a, a good think about how we're going to progress from here because we seem to have reached a sticking point. Um, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. And I hope you'll join me again soon for some more Space Quest One. Until then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>